Hey guys, it's AJ here. Let's give you a two-year update on the 45-gallon reef tank. So here it is, it's uh, two years old now. Uh, nothing has changed on it as far as equipment goes from day one. Uh, it, for the longest time, was the easiest tank I've had in the, in the house. Um, however, the last year, all of 2018, was a, a challenge. One that means this tank's gonna have to come down. But probably looking at the tank saying, hey, you got good corals, healthy fish, coralline algae, yeah, you know, everywhere, like, what's the issue? The issue is I no longer have a rock scape. I have a bubble algae scape. Literally, the entire rock structure is nothing but bubble algae. Uh, I spent all of 2018 combating it. I added a fox face. I manually removed it with every water change that I could. As much as I could, I added emerald crabs. Nothing phased uh, it. So finally, after about a year, I decided to call it quits. Uh, so this is going to be the last time you see the tank in, in this uh, manner. Um, I'll give you guys a close-up just so you guys have an idea. But it's getting a complete overhaul. I've got new rock cycling in the garage. Uh, it's been in there a couple weeks, uh, maybe a month now. It's cycling, carrying, you know, doing its thing. Um, it's already an aquascape. Uh, I've got a bio brick in the 75 that's getting, you know, beneficial bacteria. So that way, here in a couple weeks, I can switch everything over and make this a completely new system. But anyhow, let's take a look and get you guys uh, kind of caught up and, you know, see how bad things really are. Um, but I, if it wasn't for the bubble algae, I'd be ex excited for this tank. But it, it's to the point where it's starting to kill corals. Um, so it's, it's got to get out. And uh, in the process of that, I'll, I'll be moving it. Um, I've also kept the same equipment, but the equipment stand is a mess. Uh, it, it, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, it's been neglected. It's been just allowed to sit there, which I guess is a good thing because it allows the tank to mature and handle things on its own. Um, I don't have to do water changes on it anymore because the bubble algae takes up everything, um, which has been nice. I just have to, the only thing I've had to do is fill the auto top off system. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was a good run on this tank. This was, I would say, the, old, the longest I've ever had a tank up, so therefore it was the most successful. Um, the only casualty that you may notice is when we went to uh, an extended vacation back in February, came back and uh, there was an issue where the return pump failed and temperature, temperature plummeted and a few other things happened with that and we lost a bubble coral that was about that big. It literally took up this whole front part of the rock structure. Made the clam look tiny, and the clam is, you know, it's bigger than my fist. So, um, but other than that, I mean, everything's doing good. Uh, fish are all the same fish that are in there, except for we did lose the orange and black snowflake. It, for whatever reason, about a month ago decided to jump out. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys one last shot of the 45 gallon tank. Um, before the update happens. Um, so here we go.
two years old. It's struggling. It needs it needs to be celebrated and uh, you know change and grow. So with that, we've got some new equipment. This is going to be uh, the center point of the overhaul. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a sneak peek. Uh, amethyst 20 gallon. All right, sorry, Amethyst 20 inch cube from Trigger Systems as well as a Nios torque reactor uh, are going to be the backbone. I'll still keep the refugium and the skimmer in there. Uh, but it's definitely going to make servicing this tank a lot easier as well as a lot more reliable and hopefully add some water volume and clean up the mess that I have downstairs that I am too afraid to show you guys. Too ashamed that I let the 45 get to this point. But anyhow guys, like, comment, subscribe. I look forward to your feedback and your input and uh, look out for those updates. Everyone have a good one. Happy reefing.